Did you know that the average human body contains approximately 0.2 milligrams of gold, most of it in our blood? But what if I told you that scientists are now using gold, but on a much smaller scale, to fight cancer, make rapid diagnostic tests, and even purify water? Yes, we explore the realm of the incredibly small yet immensely impactful nanoparticles. These tiny powerhouses are reshaping our world in ways you might not even realize. Welcome to this exploration of the tiny but mighty world of nanoparticles. So, what exactly are these nanoparticles we're talking about? Well, the term nanoparticle might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's very much a part of our reality. Nanoparticles are tiny particles that measure less than 100 nanometers in size. To give you an idea of how small that is, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers in diameter. These tiny particles come in different types. We have metallic nanoparticles, which are made of metals like gold or silver. Then there are ceramic nanoparticles made of compounds like oxides and carbides. We also have polymeric nanoparticles made of polymers and lipid-based nanoparticles, which are made from natural or synthetic lipids. Each type of nanoparticle possesses unique properties that make them suitable for various applications, from medicine to electronics. As we delve deeper into the world of nanoparticles, you'll see just how diverse and fascinating these tiny particles can be. Nanoparticles aren't just small. They're so small they actually behave differently than larger particles thanks to quantum physics. The world of the ultra-small is governed by a different set of rules, and one of the most intriguing players in this arena is the quantum dot. These are nanoparticles with diameters in the range of 2 to 10 nanometers, encompassing about 10 to 50 atoms. The magic happens when these particles are excited by light. They can emit light of various colors, the exact hue determined by the size of the particle. Smaller dots emit bluer light, while larger ones emit redder light. This isn't due to a change in chemical composition, but purely down to the size of the dot. It's a striking demonstration of what's known as the quantum size effect. Speaking of quantum size effects, let's delve a little deeper. As particles shrink to the nanoscale, quantum mechanical effects become increasingly significant. One of these is the confinement of electrons, which leads to discrete rather than continuous energy levels. Think of it as a staircase where electrons can only occupy specific steps. This energy quantization gives rise to fascinating phenomena such as the color-changing quantum dots we just discussed. But the quantum quirks don't end there. Nanoparticles can also exhibit superparamagnetism, a property that's impossible in bulk materials. Superparamagnetic particles are magnetically unresponsive at room temperature, essentially behaving as tiny magnets that can be magnetized and demagnetized rapidly. However, under the influence of an external magnetic field, they line up just like ordinary magnets. This makes them incredibly useful in applications like targeted drug delivery, where they can be directed to specific locations in the body using a magnetic field. So, as you can see, when we're dealing with nanoparticles, we're also dealing with some pretty incredible quantum phenomena. These properties open up a whole new world of possibilities, from color-changing displays to targeted medicines, and it's all thanks to the strange and wonderful world of quantum physics. But it's not just their quantum properties that make nanoparticles special. Their physical properties are also quite remarkable. When we delve into the physical properties of nanoparticles, the effects of size and shape on the melting point become quite significant. It's a fascinating phenomenon that smaller particles tend to melt at lower temperatures than their larger counterparts. This is because as particles decrease in size, the proportion of atoms on the surface increases, and these surface atoms are not as tightly bound as those inside the bulk material. This results in lower melting points for nanoparticles. Additionally, the shape of nanoparticles also influences their melting points. For example, nanoparticles with more edges and corners tend to have lower melting points than those with smoother, rounder shapes. This is because atoms at the edges and corners are less stable and require less energy to become mobile. Now let's take a look at surface area and reactivity. Nanoparticles have a high surface-to-volume ratio, meaning they have more surface area available for reactions to occur. This makes them highly reactive which can be advantageous in applications like catalysis, where increased reactivity can lead to faster and more efficient reactions. Finally, let's discuss diffusion at the nanoscale. Diffusion is the process of particles moving from areas of high concentration to areas of lower concentration. At the nanoscale, diffusion occurs at a much faster rate than in bulk materials. This is because nanoparticles, due to their small size, can move more quickly and easily through a medium, leading to faster diffusion rates. 
This property can be leveraged in many applications, including drug delivery where nanoparticles can quickly diffuse and deliver drugs to targeted areas in the body. In conclusion, the physical properties of nanoparticles, their size and shape effects on melting point, their high surface area and reactivity, and their rapid diffusion rates, are key factors that contribute to their unique characteristics and functionalities. These unique physical properties give nanoparticles their incredible potential. What happens when these tiny particles interact with biological systems? Now that's a question with many fascinating answers. For starters, nanoparticles can be absorbed by living cells, a process known as cellular uptake. This cellular uptake depends on various factors such as size, shape, and surface charge of the nanoparticles. For instance, smaller nanoparticles can pass through cell membranes more easily than their larger counterparts. Once inside the body, nanoparticles don't just stay put. They're distributed throughout the body in a process called biodistribution, traveling through the bloodstream and potentially reaching every organ. The biodistribution pattern of nanoparticles is influenced by their physico-chemical properties and can be manipulated to target specific tissues or organs. This makes nanoparticles particularly useful for targeted drug delivery and medical applications. But, as with all things, there's a flip side. The interaction of nanoparticles with biological systems can also lead to toxic effects. These toxicological aspects are a significant area of research, as the safety of nanoparticles for human health and the environment is paramount. The toxicity of nanoparticles can depend on factors such as their composition, size, concentration, and exposure duration. It's a complex field of study, and there's still much we don't know. Interestingly, nanoparticles can also display antimicrobial properties. Certain types of nanoparticles, like silver or copper, can kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria, fungi, and even certain viruses. These antimicrobial properties have opened up exciting possibilities for the use of nanoparticles in fields like medicine, food safety, and water treatment. So let's take a step back and look at the big picture. Nanoparticles, these tiny entities invisible to the naked eye, can interact with our bodies in complex and surprising ways. They can penetrate cells, travel through our bodies, potentially cause toxicity, and even fight off microbes. These interactions are shaped by the unique properties of nanoparticles and the biological systems they encounter. Nanoparticles, then, can have both beneficial and harmful effects in biological systems. It's a delicate balance, and understanding it is crucial for harnessing the power of nanoparticles for our benefit while minimizing potential risks. That brings us to one of the most exciting areas of nanoparticle research, medical applications. Let's begin with drug delivery systems. Nanoparticles, due to their tiny size and large surface area, can be designed to deliver drugs directly to the site of disease, such as a tumor. This targeted delivery can minimize side effects and enhance the effectiveness of the treatment. For instance, imagine a nanoparticle like a minuscule, precision-guided missile, carrying a payload of cancer-killing drugs, navigating through the bloodstream and delivering its payload directly to a tumor. This is not science fiction. It's happening right now in labs around the world. Next, we have diagnostic imaging. Nanoparticles can also play a role in enhancing the resolution and sensitivity of medical imaging techniques. For instance, in magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, nanoparticles can act as contrast agents, helping doctors to see more clearly the structures inside the body. Similarly, nanoparticles are used in positron emission tomography, PT, and single photon emission computed tomography, SPECT, to improve image quality and accuracy. Finally, let's talk about therapeutic applications. Nanoparticles can also be utilized in photothermal and photodynamic therapies. In photothermal therapy, nanoparticles absorb light, which is then converted into heat, killing the cells in the immediate vicinity. This approach is being explored as a potential treatment for cancer. On the other hand, in photodynamic therapy, nanoparticles are used to generate reactive oxygen species when exposed to light, which can destroy harmful cells or bacteria. In each of these applications, nanoparticles are revolutionizing the way we approach medicine. They offer the potential for more effective treatments with fewer side effects. They can enhance our ability to see inside the human body, improving our diagnostic capabilities, and they can be used to kill harmful cells or bacteria, offering new ways to combat disease. The potential for nanoparticles in medicine is truly astounding, and we're only just beginning to tap into it. But nanoparticles aren't just useful in medicine. They also have important applications in the environment. Let's start with pollution control and remediation. 
nanoparticles with their large surface area and high reactivity offer unique solutions to some of our most stubborn pollution problems. For instance, iron nanoparticles have been used to treat contaminated groundwater, breaking down harmful organic compounds into harmless substances. Similarly, titanium dioxide nanoparticles, when exposed to sunlight, can break down pollutants in air and water, a process known as photocatalysis. But that's not all. Nanoparticles also play a crucial role in environmental monitoring. Sophisticated sensors smaller than the width of a human hair can detect pollutants at incredibly low concentrations. These nanosensors are not only highly sensitive but also selective, meaning they can distinguish between different types of pollutants. This gives us the capability to monitor our environment with unprecedented accuracy and speed, helping us to react to pollution incidents more effectively and to better understand the dynamics of our ecosystems. Then there's energy storage and conversion. Nanoparticles are at the forefront of breakthroughs in this area. In batteries, nanoparticles can improve energy density, charge times, and lifespan. For instance, lithium-ion batteries with silicon nanoparticles can store significantly more energy than their conventional counterparts. In the realm of solar energy, nanoparticles are equally transformative. Quantum dots, a special type of nanoparticle, can absorb different wavelengths of light, thereby increasing the efficiency of solar panels. Meanwhile, nanoparticles of materials like perovskite are revolutionizing solar cell technology, offering a cheaper and more efficient alternative to traditional silicon-based cells. So, whether it's cleaning up our planet, keeping a closer eye on our environment, or powering our world more efficiently, nanoparticles are playing a pivotal role. These tiny particles are offering big solutions, helping us to tackle some of the most pressing environmental challenges of our time. As we continue to explore and understand nanoparticles, their potential to help us address some of our most pressing environmental challenges becomes increasingly clear. So what does the future hold for nanoparticles? As we venture further into the 21st century, the realm of nanoparticles continues to expand and evolve, promising a wealth of opportunities and solutions for some of our most pressing challenges. Among the many exciting prospects are nanorobots and smart nanomaterials. Let's begin with nanorobots. These microscopic machines are expected to revolutionize many fields, from medicine to environmental science. In medicine, for example, we envision nanorobots that can navigate the human body, delivering drugs with pinpoint accuracy, or performing microsurgeries that would be impossible for human hands. In environmental science, nanorobots could be deployed to detect and neutralize pollutants, or even repair damaged ecosystems, at a microscale. Now let's switch gears to smart nanomaterials. These are materials that can respond to changes in their environment, such as temperature, pH, or light, and adjust their properties accordingly. This adaptability opens up a multitude of applications. For instance, smart nanomaterials could be used to create self-healing materials where the material can detect damage and repair itself without human intervention. In medicine, smart nanomaterials could lead to more effective drug delivery systems where the drug is only released when certain conditions are met reducing side effects and improving patient outcomes. However, as we push the boundaries of what's possible with nanoparticles, we must also consider the challenges. Synthesizing nanoparticles with precise properties and at a scale that makes them commercially viable is no small feat. We must also ensure the safety of these technologies, both for the people who use them and the environment. Despite these challenges, the prospects are thrilling. The coming years will undoubtedly bring remarkable advancements as we continue to unravel the complexities of the nano world and harness its potential. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The tiny world of nanoparticles has big potential. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the world of nanoparticles. We've navigated the scale of these microscopic wonders, from their definition to their diverse types, including metallic, ceramic, polymeric, and lipid-based nanoparticles. With a closer look at their quantum properties, we've discovered the unique optical characteristics of quantum dots in the superparamagnetic phenomenon. We've also delved into the physical properties, observing how size and shape can influence melting points and how the nanoscale influences reactivity and diffusion. Our exploration revealed their mechanical strength and elasticity, as well as their interactions with biological systems, from cellular uptake to their antimicrobial properties. We've seen how these nanoparticles can act as catalysts and how their surface chemistry can be functionalized. The spotlight was also on the photonic properties, the light absorption, scattering, and the remarkable photocatalysis. 
We've discussed numerous applications from medical drug delivery systems and diagnostic imaging to environmental pollution control and energy storage. As we ventured into the future, we saw the potential of nanorobots, smart nanomaterials, and the challenges and opportunities in nanoparticle synthesis and scalability. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the tiny, fascinating world of nanoparticles. Stay curious, stay excited, and who knows what we'll discover next in this incredible field of science.